Good evening. Well, ah, ah, ah. You look nice tonight. Thank you. I am freshly gussied because, you know, I had a day off, which means I didn't, like, get out of bed until 6 p.m. and didn't shower until 8 p.m. And then was like, all of a sudden, oh, my God, I have to be on the air. And, you know. Gussied? Really? Gussied. That's a technical term. They always with the hippo. Always with the freaking hippo. It's like my thing. I don't want to hear about your thing. That's what I tell everyone when they, I don't want to hear about your thing. Tell me about your mother. Are you ready to do this nonsense? I'm ready to do this nonsense. Okay, here we go. Didn't know this was that Terracy. Which Terracy did you think I was? There can be only one. Each week, Catherine goes out in the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here. A little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And, oh, t- <laughs> we have a topical one to start with tonight, uh, being as it was recently Comic Con. Um, I'll go ahead and give you the, the link here. Uh,. As you know, San Diego Comic-Con is one of the biggest sci-fi conventions in... It in, doesn't do with comics anymore. I know, yeah. I know. But uh, the weapons check at Comic-Con was very what the fuck is wrong with you, Worry. Oh, no. Um, Comic-Con, it's all nerdy fun and games until someone loses an eye to a razor-sharp a razor stiletto or a two-foot-long machete, or an Otis to Rambo AR-15 rifle. All right, I don't like Twilight either, <laughs> but seriously. <laughs> Friday, the pile of seized weapons included two machetes, one dang dagger, one commando-style K-bar knife, and a lead pipe. No rifles, unlike Thursday, when a fan tried to enter with an actual AR-15. An AR-15! Why is that necessary? Have you ever seen an AR-15? That is a not-fucking-around rifle. Oh, someone in the channel said, What the fuck was Angry Joe doing there? Nice. Nice. But... Why? Why is that necessary? I why? I mean, I understand the cosplay thing. I do. I don't always agree with it, but I understand it. But really, there is appeasing the the cosplay Nazis, and then there is taking it a little too fucking far. Your costume. When you go to the goddamn Ren Fair, if you're going to carry a sword, it has to be like peace tied. I hate that peace bonded peace talk term. That is so silly. I know, but that's the term. That's what they call it. I don't it think you can. Up so you can't pull it out. I that's don't it. think you can do that with an AR-15. No. Why? <laughs> Your costumes. No reason you need to be carrying that in public at all. Your costume's at not all. authentic. Say that again. There's no reason you need to be carrying that in public. At all. Well, well, no, no. You, if you will, I can guarantee you that if you want to get into a panel, you're fucking getting into that panel. You know what? I'm a pretty goddamn big Lost fan. <laughs> and the line for the panel, for whatever Lost panel happens at Comic Con, which they kind of had a surprise one this year, is usually like, oh my fucking God, long. Like, you could conceive a child, gestate, and give birth before you get into that hall. And still, I don't see myself, you know, nutting up with a firearm to get into the Lost panel. I'll just watch the clips online. Really, Tara? Really? What? Really? Really what? You would... Uh, no, I know you. Get into the Lost panel? Uh, you, you, would, you would pull a gun on somebody. I would not pull a gun because I dislike guns. I might pull a baton with ill intent. <laughs> Or I might get myself a replica of Ben Linus's awesome fold-out beat-the-crap-out-of-you stick, because that would be canon, and an awesome bludgeoning tool. I would not roll up with a gun. You're establishing your, Greek ca- your geek cred fairly, fairly heavily there. Fuck yes. 
Um, uh, let's see. All right, I normally don't would stick a hippo on a motherfucker. I I I normally don't like doing stories where people get hurt. Mm. But really? No, not not seriously injured, but or oh. killed, especially. But this one. Oh, you froze at a really interesting spot there, Tara. Um, this one, this one kind of deserves it. Um, deputies, man burned while siphoning gas with leaf blower. And it's Florida. Officials say a seminal oh man. God, look at that car. I know. Look at the fucking car. I'll put it on the big screen. Look at that. Look at what the happened to that damn car. How do you even do that to a car? I don't know. Without like a flamethrower. Officials say a seminal man uh, was seriously burned in an explosion while siphoning gas from a car with a leaf blower. Pinellas County Sheriff spokesperson Tom Nestor said Joseph P. Williamson, 31, was working on the fuel lines of his 1997 Saturn belonging to his girlfriend, uh, Summer uh, M. Braculio, 34, outside their home when the gas ignited. Investigators say Williamson found the gas lid open and became concerned the vehicle had been tampered with, so he was trying to check the gas tank for sugar. Witnesses said Simonson was trying to siphon the gas with an electric leaf blower when a spark from the blower ignited the fire. Williamson suffered serious burns to his arms, had to be taken to Tampa General Hospital. What the fuck? All right, they tell you not to use your cell phone. I know! Let alone a goddamn electric appliance to suck gas out of your car. Well, maybe he thought it was the cell phone radiation that caused the fire or something. You want to check for sugar in your gas tank? You could just grab the dipstick and see if it comes out sticky. And that sounded way dirtier than I. That's meant what it. she said. Yes. Um. But yes, yeah, seriously. I mean, it, it's you don't you. All right. If I was stuck in this position, and you know, if I had to, I would siphon with a hose before I would use an electrical appliance near gasoline. Though, to be fair, you did, like, wax your own leg with hot glue. I did. But that's a far cry. So that's a do, when you have car trouble, just go to the mechanic. Funny. Funny just, girl. Just, just call Miko or Jiffy Lube or whatever you have in your neck of the woods. and. Oh, someone thinks she's funny. Someone knows she's funny. Someone also knows she's right. Because now she'll be like, that's all right. I got the hot glue gun. And we'll be talking about you. Okay. I, I, this is a baffling one. Or Salem, Oregon. Police in Salem say three men were arrested last week after officers responded to a report of men fighting, fighting <laughs> naked. Police said officers later found out all three took the hallucinogenic drug LSD. Officers used stun guns on two of the men without any apparent effect before they were subdued. One was found lying naked in a street while the other was hiding in a backyard. But police were able to talk the third man into surrendering. Police say none of the men suffered any serious injuries in the Sunday incident, but all, all were charged with disorderly conduct. LSD can do fucked up things to you. D I mean, I don't okay. From experience, but like there's that episode of Fringe where they all took LSD and they all felt like for the rest of the episode turned out to be cartoons. So I yeah. know a lot of people fucking swear that LSD will expand your consciousness and change your perceptions and shit. But n unless nine times out of ten, this will be you. I have never taken LSD, so I don't know for sure. I haven't either, but do you really want to take this chance? No. I mean, no, I, naked fighting in the street doesn't sound like a good way to spend my Saturday night. Do, do you want to take the chance that 
I'm going to expand the levels, the frontiers of my mind. I'm going to be in touch with the oneness of the universe. And you wake up three hours later in a jail cell because you were naked in the street after getting into a fight with your friends. And you know it wasn't like a hoo, hoo, hoo. No, it was a, it was, ah! it was, it was a, they were slap fighting. You know this shit. It's true. You know, Retro Randy makes a good point. It would actually be a bad idea for me to drop LSD in my home because I have <laughs> hippos here. <laughs> and I would freak the fuck out. Like, they would all come to life and shit, and I would think I really did have, like, a hippo lantern core and things would get. That like, big, crazy-eyed hippo would look at you and go, You are not your flesh. <laughs> it, would, it would get bad, real bad. Just tell you crazy shit. Yeah. The truth is your blood. Just crazy shit from the fucking hippo. You're going to have nightmares tonight now. What's new? Uh, what? Okay, well, we go from drug crazy to god crazy. <sighs> oh. Chopper protester claims Bible motive. A man who attacked a military helicopter with an axe says he was fulfilling a biblical prophecy. Brian Law, 57, as in old enough to be grandpa, was arrested over the attack at an airport in Rockhampton in central Queensland on Thursdays from Australia. Mr. Law is a member of the Peace Convergent Group that protested against the joint America-U.S. military ex exercise Taliban sa Talisman Saber. He says he was fulfilling a biblical prophecy against war. In a new and symbolic way, I was fulfilling the ancient, ancient prophecy of Isaiah. They will beat their swords into plowshares, their spears into pruning hooks. <laughs> he said in a state... I don't recall ever seeing one saying they will beat their helicopters into Winnebago's. You know... I don't think that's covered. Mr. Law says he will face five charges in court. Okay. All right. This is taking it a little literally. It's not even because he had a fucking axe. And he attacked a helicopter. <laughs> Was he going to sculpt it into a plowshare with an axe? With an axe? Wrong tool! Just to, to start with. With a motherfucking axe. Just to so start with. It's really not taking it literally. It's actually completely goddamn missing the point. <laughs> it's a fucking it's metaphor! Biblical not seem to do a lot. It's a metaphor! It's a f I'm not I'm not a religious guy in any way, shape, or form. But even I was raised Catholic, and so these people always piss me off that extra bit more because they're the reason I can't tell people I was raised Catholic without them being like, oh, <laughs> Because <laughs> they've met someone like this guy. Right! <laughs> I was raised Catholic. I was also raised sensible. I won't say sane, because I'm not, but sensible. Stop giving us a bad name! Right? Like, damn. Speaking of bad names, gentlemen, cup your... Gird your loins for this one, because this is, this is gonna hurt. Oh, I love it already. Bangladeshi has brick tied to penis as punishment. Oh my. Bangladeshi police uh, said on Thursday they were investigating the case of a man forced to parade naked through his village with a brick tied to his penis as punishment for kidnapping and marrying a minor. All right, you know what? That's fine. <laughs> Punishment was meted out Saturday. The 30-year-old 30, 30 man by the local council in a village uh, 30 mile, uh, 18 miles south, south of Dhaka. Police said he kidnapped and forcibly married a 12-year-old girl who later managed to escape. Um, Good for you, 12-year-old girl. I am kind of torn on this one because on the one hand, it's a brick tied to your junk, but on the other, 12-year-olds. It's like Yeah, no, I'm down. It's like 8-year-olds, dude. Fucking eight-year-olds. Yeah, I I just, he never gets it up again. You done broke the guy. That it's it, that's broke. That you done broke his. I certainly hope so, asshole. God, ow, ow. You know what? It could be worse. There's that lady like 
last week that we didn't get to cover because you were out of town who chopped off her husband's penis and threw it. Threw it in the garbage disposal. I saw that. That's pretty harsh, dude. She was like Bobbit 2.0. And getting a porn career. Like, that shit is Julianne Fry's. I know. She she was taking that shit to the next level. She was mad. Like, what did you have to do? But, yeah, Brick... I, I, I honestly... Brick tied to your junk. God damn, but... 12-year-old. So... Half, half of one, six a dozen of the other. But, uh... Okay, let's see what else we have. Look at that. That here's the one with the bad journalism that you're you're. And hey, look, it's Walmart. So that's <sighs> accused Fort Pierce beef stick swiper stuck in jail following pants shenanigans. Take it. The, the article gets worse. Tennessee. Did Alan, write that headline. I know it's word salad. Yeah, can I get some like that was an island for that word salad? A Tennessee man accused of swiping, quote, of sticking, quote, beef sticks inside his pants at a Fort Pierce Walmart and swiping them was arrested at a recently released affidavit states. A, quote, asset protection, a lot of quotes in this fucking, quote, asset protection official July 9th told Fort Pierce police that Kenneth Mitchell Brewer, 48, and he's purdy. Let's get him on the big screen. He uh, looks like um, the not Sean Patrick Flannery boondock saint brother. He kind of does. Like, because that guy's on Walking Dead now. Yeah. And that's kind of what he looks like now on The Walking Dead. Um, yeah, he does. Uh, Brewer kept shopping and paid for his grocery items at the store, uh, but fairly, apparently failed to lay out cash for the beef in his pants. Volume of the items is listed at 8.45. Now, here's where the article goes off. In addition to sticks, Jack's, Jack Link's Beef Jerky, the number one U.S. meat snack brand, also offers items including steaks, nuggets, and portion control snacks, its website states. It's unclear whether those could be hidden in pants, be they shorts, capris, jeans, or slacks. Someone was fucking with their editor. Somebody was told they had to write a 300-word piece on this. Word count. Someone was told to get the and word count. And ran out of words at 100. <laughs> um, uh, and went to the press release ferry. He keeps going! The story behind Jack Link- Link's beef jerky is a, quote, American classic, according to a newsroom section of the website. Who and cares? It, uh, I know, it just, it just keeps going with all this history of fucking Jack Link's. Fuck that! The guy stuck meat in his pants! Focus up! Focus! Did Jack Links pay for this story? I know, right? It's like an advertisement! Yeah, it's like a viral ad or something. Would you focus on the man with meat in his pants, please? I can't believe I had to say that. why did he pay for the rest of his groceries, but not those? I know, right? Eight bucks, really? You didn't? You know, like, why steal just that one thing and then pay for everything else? Maybe he has something against Jack Link's beef jerky. <laughs> and so Fuck the reporter them, was man. trying to be balanced by adding in this press release shit, but the editor cut out his beef with the beef jerky. Don't are are, are you gonna need a little Ben? Is your mind blown? Are, are you gonna need a little Ben Gay there? Because you're, you know, after you do all that stretching. Look, I'm a big little, Lost fan. <laughs> With that comes the acquisition of certain skills. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, uh, ne- next one is... Uh, yeah, I just said it to you. This one is fucking baffling. Naked woman pulled from pipe. Waterville Police Chief Joseph Massey said police do not know why a naked, crying woman crawled into a sewer pipe emerging from a cliff... 25 feet above the Kennebec, uh, Kennebec River on Sunday morning. Massey said the 24-year-old Clinton woman was transported to the medical center after the fire department rescue personnel repelled 12 feet down a cliff and pulled her from the pipe emptying into the river. We don't know why she was down there, said Massey after the woman he described was incoherent. 
Massey, ah, here it comes. Here it comes. Mass, oh no, wait. Massey said he did not know if the woman had ingested bath salts. He did say her behavior was indicative of a person high on the new synthetic hallucinogenic drug. People just use them to make the bath smelly. She, she, she had climbed down the, it's not, no, here's the thing. It's not like she got in the pipe somewhere else and just popped out over the river. No, she climbed down a sheer cliff, which is quite a feat. She had gotten her feet into the sewer pipe and gotten herself in without falling. There was wow. water running out of the pipe. What the fuck happened? Like, was she trying to recreate that famous jump from the fugitives? Or... Wow. I, I mean, that's talent. Well, she got stuck in the pipe, though. Talent. She got stuck in the pipe, though. So it's not from the fugitive, because you could stand up in this one. She, she, she climbed down a cliff, jammed herself in the pipe, and started crying. What the hell was going on? Presumably she realized where she had just trapped herself. This, this is... I, if she was on bath salts, I, I I smell a plot. This bath salt thing is just a plot to just fucking break. Well, okay, here, here, you want to talk about reaching? Here's some reaching. This bath salt thing is a plot to make tons and tons of people do crazy shit, so that when someone does do something, they can cover it up by saying I was on bath salt. So the motivation will be won't be will be suspect. You know, they, like, they, say, the Michelle Bachman presidential campaign? Yeah, something like that. They could cover it up. You know, they have an excuse. It's a Her campaign manager could be like, dude, I don't fucking know. I was on bath salts. It's a trap old, door. Old it, it's a way out. It's a trap door. That's what this really is. You mm. think I'm strange, but yeah, that's what it really is. All I right. Think it's just stupid people. We got, we got two more. I'm saving the best for last. Um... Uh, more Walmart, more Walmart, more pants. And it's Fort Walton Beach, which is Florida. Florida. A 28-year-old woman and a 31-year-old man were arrested July 8th for allegedly trying to take goods from Walmart. Allison Marie Adams, who was charged with felony larceny and crimes against merchants, and her boyfriend, Grover Lewis Epsi, was charged with felony probation violation and two misdemeanors, were caught hiding stakes in the woman's purse. Okay, it's not the pants, it's the purse. While in the furniture section of the store. According to the Okaloosa County Sheriff's Report, the couple allegedly stole seven ribeye steaks. The items were valued at $105.67. Wow. It's a lot of seven steak. Ribeye steaks cost $100? <clears throat> yeah, seven ribeyes. Isn't ribeye kind of a crap quality cut? I don't know, but seven steaks. Okay, here's just 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 so you if you're planning to steal something from a store, if you take something from the grocery section and go to the furniture section, then hide it. It's not a loophole. You're still in the same damn store. This is it's not like, you know, it's not like you got you're at home base or some shit. There's no, well, no, but presumably there's more places to hide in the furniture section than in the grocery. Have section. you tried hiding at a Walmart? I don't go to Walmart. It freaks me out. It it's, like sets off my EDD and gives me panic attacks. It's like this big open space. There are no walls in the Walmart. It's very the deceptive. One time I was way. in our local Walmart, they didn't even have a furniture section though, so I don't. You can't hide in a Walmart. You re you just can't. Well, you know, apparently you can, given the amount of people that masturbate at the fucking Walmart. Well, without getting uh, caught before they've creamed all over a... Unless they got a hair trigger going something. on. And let's be honest, if you're masturbating in the Walmart, you probably don't have a whole bunch of stamina. Let's be honest there. I'm not sure I see the connection there. So. Well, you're not pleasing a woman. You're masturbating in a Walmart. Hey, I'm right. Okay. I'm right. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Having never had to worry about pleasing a woman or masturbating in a Walmart. 
you probably have more experience on. You just broke the hearts of so many fanfic writers. On the Walmart thing or the woman thing? Yes. <laughs> I'm a Target shopper, people. Sorry. And finally tonight, this this is... Uh, it just kind of speaks for itself, doesn't it? Amish youth accused of drinking beer in buggy. <laughs> Go to Wango. A 17-year-old Amish youth faces a host of charges after sheriff's deputies say they caught him driving a buggy while holding an open can of beer and then led police on a brief chase. <laughs> deputies said they were patrolling Route 62. <laughs> And they saw the boy. They said they attempted to stop the buggy, and the driver led them on a short chase before pulling over. Louis D. Hostetler, uh, 17, became belligerent, deputy said, refused their commands, and resisted arrest. Uh, Hostetler was charged with resisting arrest, second degree obstru uh, obstruction, uh, uh, Obstructing governmental administration. administration. Thank you. Unlawful possession of an alcoholic beverage with intent to consume by a person under the age of 21. Failure to yield to an emergency vehicle. Is insufficient tail lamps. <laughs> and littering on a highway. How this... did he lead them on a chase in a buggy? Presumably they had cars, right? Probably with the most confused horse ever. Like, I don't care if You've got fucking secretariat pulling that <laughs> cop car probably can go faster. The could the horse is probably like, what the fuck? I I'm why do you want me to go over there? That's a field. Stop it. St well no, then the horse would just stop to eat grass. I've never He'd seen a the horse to the field. I've never seen a buggy swerve over the yellow line. <laughs> I've never seen a buggy swerve. I actually, when I was a kid, there was a place on Long Island called um, Old Bethpage. It's in Bethpage, Long Island. And it's one of those, like, old-timey, like, back-in-the-day places. Like a yeah. folk, you know, where you see some lady teaches you how to churn butter, and you learn what life on Long Island was like in colonial times. And we went there when I was a kid, and there was a runaway horse and cart. Like, somehow the horse went batshit, and I guess they jumped out of the cart. And this thing fucking flew by us. Like, you have never seen a horse <laughs> with a cart tied to him go this fast in your life. Well, well it's okay. kind of terrifying. Well, someone in the channel pointed out something. Be that as it may. Ha, the, the police cars... I still think the police car could have beaten that horse. Yeah, the horse... Like if it was a police chase, I think that ho random runaway horse would have been caught. The total horsepower of a horse... Of a single horse is one <laughs> horsepower of a how many a couple hundred horsepower and a car. Yet the horsepower of a horse is always one. So, what if the horse was on LSD? He <laughs> was naked. At that same trip to the folk park, I made friends with a giant bull that was like. There was this giant red bull in a pen, and my sisters tried to climb the fence to pet it, and it freaked the fuck out on them. So while my dad was pulling them off the fence, I climbed the fence, because I was painting the ass as a kid. But the bull totally came over and let me pet him, because it was the same color as my hair. <laughs> so my sisters were like, oh, it's friendly, and they tried to climb the fence, freaked the fuck out, and the bull only liked me. We communed as fellow gingers. <laughs> it's a true story. Okay. I don't know what just happened, but okay. I'm like a bull whisperer. You're, again, fanfic fuel right there. But d just seriously, I mean... I worry for the kind of fanfic you would write if you wrote fanfic. Because the things you say are fanfic fuel. Have you ever seen Fan Fiction Friday? On Topless I'm Robot? I'm aware of Velociraptor Love Tabasco, yes. There we go. No, but I... I the balls on this guy. You gotta... Don't fuck with the Amish, man. You guys think the people are... All, the Amish are all peace-loving and shit. And they'll they, they, they well, turn they the other cheek. they have their whole thing where when they reach a certain age, they, like, go get to go, like, 
live among the real people decide if they want to stay, right? Yeah, but they don't take the buggy! Well, no. They but... don't take the fucking... This guy, this, he... Don't fuck with the Amish. I mean, did you see uh, the, the, the Diary of the Dead? Don't fuck with the Amish. That movie sucked, but that Amish guy in that movie was kick-ass. Don't fuck with the Amish. I really wasn't intending to, but good to know. The balls on this guy. He just said the balls on this guy. I <laughs> said the balls. <laughs> ba uh, ball is the correct... Bull is how you say bull. Ball is how you say ball. I know, but he said the bulls on this guy. I said so balls. You didn't say balls. I said balls. You didn't. I think I should... I know my cursing, thank you. I said balls. I did not say... Fuck you in a chant. I did not say balls. You said balls. They're on my side, man. I'm going to play this back later and find out. Would you like to place a small wager on it? No. Because you know right. No. I don't. You do. You're afraid of losing. I did not. I am not. I just, no. All right. Hey, you're Catholic. You shouldn't gamble. Uh. I'm Catholic. I shouldn't do a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Catholic. I shouldn't be here laughing at the misfortune of others on the internet. Okay, point. <laughs>